Hey everybody, you know what time it is? It's outdoor adventure time. Over that way is Green Bay. I traveled to Door County to walk out on the shore of Green Bay to try to find some white fish and catch some white fish. There's good news and bad news. There's not a lot of people here. That's the good news and that's the bad news. I like it when there's not a lot of people here, but often shoreline areas that people know about if there's fish around, it can get kind of crowded at times, but it's something you can do by just walking out. You don't have to drive out. You don't need a four wheeler, don't need a snowmobile. And that's what I'm all about right now anyway. So I'm just gonna haul my stuff out there, drill a few holes, give myself 30 minutes or so in a spot before I move Whitefish are quick, sleek, and they swim around, they move around. So often it's best just to sit still, but if I'm not marking anything in 30 minutes, then obviously they're not there, and then I need to move on. Whew. Well, I gotta start somewhere. This looks as good as any. There's a couple of people out here. Not many people. It's January in Wisconsin. Yesterday was yesterday was nasty, nasty. Minus 14 in the morning. High pressure, bright sunny skies. Today we got overcast, pretty stiff wind because it's blowing up some some warmer air from the south. So this wind was southwest all night. So it warmed up over the night. It was 14 degrees this morning when I got up. It's supposed to be into the mid 20s today and the winds are going to kick around out of the northwest then later 15 to 25 so it's going to be a bit breezy today and uh let's see got to start somewhere so i think this is the this is the place i'll drill a hole let's see what we got for ice Good as any. It's cold, it's windy. I'm going to uh, see inside. I'm going to start with that thing right there. That's called a little fo a little foxy. I believe Rapala made this, but they don't make them anymore. In fact, they weren't even supposed to be in this country. They were Canadian made and somehow a shipment got here. And I found them and I liked them for whitefish. Uh, Lindy makes a slick jig, which is similar but without the hair. I know people use that a lot too. You can use plastics, you can use spoons. I've caught a lot of whitefish on Swedish pimples. And then I've got a double rig here. So that's my bottom bait. And then up higher, about a foot, I have a red bead and a fly. Just a big fly, a brown one. This one's brown with a gold, little gold head on it. I'll be trying that out. So you pound bottom, you make a disturbance on bottom. Whitefish comes in, you can keep pounding. You can get them to follow up, but often they'll just come up and smack your second bait. Just kind of cool. And I'm going to tip it with a couple of wax worms right there. Butter worms work good too. They are more expensive, but I've seen good success with butter worms. And then I will put a wax worm on this hook as well. A couple of fish have finally showed up. I mean, it's not that bad. It's, oh, 17, 18 minutes after I started, but I wasn't marking anything. So if something showed up, could be the same fish. I don't know, showed up for a little bit, left, came back, came up, sniffed my upper hook and left. Quick moving in and out pretty sure it was a white fish by the type of mark it left on my sonar big thick 
very shifty. Down, came up, down, and choo, gone. That's whitefish behavior for sure. Oh, there's one. Oh, jeez. Like, I lifted up, lifted up my bottom, kept my jigging going, and he like showed up at the bottom and then was in the middle and then took off. Didn't stick around at all. On this rod, my main line is braided. And then I have a fluorocarbon leader. On my other rod that I use, I've got all fluoro. Four pound fluoro, four pound leader. My fluorocarbon leader choice is Invisex by, um, great, left, left me. There's a fish down there. There he is, fish on. Cigar. Oh, he loses with the hole, don't lose with the hole. It's caught on the ice, I swear. There you go, came off in the hole. But this thing, got an eight inch hole, six inch ice thing from my dad. Shove that down there and get that guy. Oh, no, he didn't. I thought he lost him. I thought I lost him in the hole, but I had the. Uh, but I was seeing my second bait. I was seeing my second hook. Now, so I don't lose him in the hole, I, I take my bucket that I keep in the corner. So when he comes off, there he is. This is a white fish. <clears throat> Right in the mouth there. Took the bottom bait. Pretty slick. It's a nice one. These guys are strong. Gosh. Slimy. There we go. There he is. He's not a really big one. But first one of the year. I think I'll have to take him and eat him. Yeah, so he's all right. That was fun. They fight really good. They throw their whole bodies back and forth. So they're, they're, they're fun. They're just fun to catch. And how big is he? I'll measure him. Got a little longer board here. What do we got? Pinch's tail. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. It's like 18 and three quarters. A skinny one, so he's good. Good, good, good. I think I'll throw him outside on the ice. Yeah, awesome. On the board. Well, I am very happy to see there are some fish around here. That's great. Clean out my... Oh, it's funny. I thought he... I thought he came undone in the hole. I forgot I had two baits on and I saw that bait. I thought it came off the fish. No, it's not. This thing is great at trying to get fish out of the hole. So I have my slider. That's what you call those. It's just, it's, it can slide on there. I got a red bead. And a barrel swivel. And he hit the bottom one. And I still got some waxies on there. So I am good to go. Transducer back down. Oh, so that was exciting. Been a long time since I caught a white fish. Ooh, the ice is cracking. Creepy. But there's plenty of ice here, that's for sure. I didn't measure it, but over 16, I think. We are near shore. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> and you, you're watching. I can plug the rod I like for this. That 
whitefish are still really light biters. They'll sit and just stare at, stare at it, or they'll swim by, and they have tiny mouths on the bottom. So often they just come up and take a little nibble and hardly pull on it at all. So I have just a built-in spring bobber here, which is great. So I can see just a little light bite and I'll know that he's taking it and I can set the hook. So this is the Beaver Dam titanium tip stick. My, my whitey's making his way back in here. Get him out. <laughs> my Beaver Dam titanium tip stick. And uh, so I can see see the bite a little better. And there's a fish down there again. I think white fish are the slimiest, stinkiest fish in fresh water that you'll ever keep and eat. They'll stink up the whole the whole basement. It's where I clean them. They stink up the whole basement. <laughs> They're nasty. But they do taste good. Not my favorite fish. They're related to a salmon. And they have a row of pin bones, kind of like the salmon does, that you can cut out. And I usually cut them in strips, chunk them up, and fry them. I've also taken a filet and put it on the grill, put some butter on there, put some onions on there, some lemon pepper, and grill them. They're good that way. But they are very fun to catch. The ice guides who guide for these usually go out deeper off some deep breaks 60 70 feet where they know they travel a lot but you might have to drive out quite a ways or get a ride in some fancy machine which is fun but i don't have one of those so that's not happening so i like to just bop down by the shore walk out to give it a shot well i was marking fish for a little bit there and couldn't get another one to go well, it has been a while since I've marked any whitefish, or any fish for that matter. The only fish I've ever caught out here has been whitefish. That's it. In this general area, I have caught, while whitefish fishing, I have caught a perch. And I have been bit off already by something. And one day when a guy, a friend of mine had a camera down, we saw just... We were just marking so many fish, and we didn't know what they were because nothing would bite. And a friend had a little camera, and he dropped the camera down. And there were sheephead everywhere. Hundreds of sheephead. And then I saw a walleye in that pack of sheephead. And that walleye was staying like three feet from my bait and just sat there for five minutes. It's crazy. So I've never caught a walleye out here while fishing for whitefish. But I am shallow. I'm in about 12 to 13 feet of water right here. Time to move. Time to drill a few more holes. I have not uh, marked anything in like quite a while. So I just got to I gotta move just for my sake. Get out. Go in the cold. And uh, drill a few holes and look around. See what's going on. And I can always come back here if there's nothing else. This is crazy. I was just going to move. I just put my camera away. I was going to move. Just getting ready to do it. And then a fish showed up, came in right away, and went to my upper hook and just ate it. And I caught him. And he's a really nice one. So here he is. That was really crazy. It was just already, I turned off the heater. Letting it cool off in here a little bit. And then this guy came in. There he is. He's a big one. He was a good fighter. Woo, that was great. What we got? Pinching the nose at the bump, pinching the tail, 20 and a half. Eh. That's a respectable whitey. 20 and a half. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so I guess I'm not going to move. Might as well just stay here and wait it out. They come in. 
goes against my nature. They're big fish and they can travel. That was the only one I saw at the time. He just came in really fast. And ate. It's hard, I wanted to pull away from him, but he was going up. So just kind of, kind of wiggle it. He latched onto my upper hook. So 50-50. I like it when they just come in and eat. So often they're so finicky that it takes a couple of fish to be around before you get one to eat. They like to compete. Whew, so here's some bad news for you. One day, you're just gonna wake up ugly. Yep, and the next day, she's gonna wake you up. <laughs> that's terrible, oldest joke in the book. Not really, that's awful though, but no, seriously, someday, if you get old enough, you're just gonna wake up and you're gonna be ugly, that's age. And uh, it's kind of happened to me. I'm like, gosh, you know, I never thought I was very good looking to begin with. But uh, I look in the mirror now going, oh, man, I got these spots forming on me. I got wrinkles showing up. Just looking weird. Just looking weird. Hair's going away. Sticking up all over. The ear hair. It was a problem when I was younger, but wow. Got to go to a barber just to get the ear hair trim now. That was crazy. I wanted to get that get that on recorded. Didn't have my record button turned on. He just came in so fast and hit that I had no chance. Get this out of there. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Oh my goodness, just came in and hit hit the upper one. Wow. Just totally shocked me. Holy man. That was crazy. Myself some slack here. And he hit the upper hook. There we go. Nice. Looks around that 18 inch range, 19 maybe. Beautiful. Oh no. <laughs> it broke. Here, what we got? Easy. 18 and a half. So I was just jigging, minding my own business, just just lightly like this, and that was it, just kind of wiggling a little bit. I looked away for a moment, and then I looked back, and boom, I got hit. Holy cow, just hit that top one. You can see the both lures are showing up there. Bottom, and then the top one. He came in and ate that top one. Wow. And I couldn't get the... Uh, camera rolling fast enough so that was pretty exciting spent a lot of dead time just jigging working it not marking anything and boy he came in and ate immediately that was pretty sweet like fish like that that was fun how's the water clarity you ask I don't know can you see It's pretty clear. There's bottom. Well, I just ventured outside of the little shack here and talked to some guys that were leaving. They, they, don't, they didn't fish very long, like two and a half hours, and they did not catch anything. They said they marked only five fish. So maybe that's why the crowds aren't here. But there's still some around, and I got a few to bite, so I'm happy with that. We'll see if I can get a few more before the battery dies here. I'm just grateful too that the, the wind isn't howling like they had predicted. Maybe that'll come on a little later this afternoon, but as of right now, there's a breeze, but it's not too bad, and the temperature is pretty good. Must be in the mid to upper 20s, I would, I would fathom. 
I'm a fathomer. Are you a fathomer? I fathom that. But I'm not marking any fish. I keep it moving. Or if I gotta rest, I rest. But I just try to keep it moving quite a bit. I could jig up higher sometimes too to try to attract fish to come in. Wisconsin winter's long, cold, dark. That's why I just gotta get outside. Enjoy the area that I'm in. I feel closest to God when I'm outside doing something in nature. It's great. <sighs> then to catch some fish too. That's pretty cool too. Wanted to tell you something, I had braided line on here. What I don't like about having braided line ice fishing is if you're, you're not in a shelter that's warm and it's below freezing, the water will stick to the line and freeze everything on your reel. Which isn't the worst of things, but if you need to drop deeply in a hurry, it makes it more complicated because you either have to open the bale and just try to force line out like that, or you have to physically pull the line out. What I do like about it is it's very sensitive, which is great, so you can feel a strike a lot better. And I, I do like that when ice freezes on the line, it's easy to run your fingers down and scrape it off. Thanks for watching me try to catch some whitefish. And uh, hope to see you again real soon. I'm Captain Kirk. I do not guide on the ice for obvious reasons. But I'd love to take you out in the boat when I can be more mobile and we can catch some walleyes jigging or casting the Winnebago system. So thanks. Bye. Well, I, just, I guess you just have to threaten to leave. And then you'll catch another one. It was like not marking anything at all for a long time. And then this one just came in and slammed that upper hook immediately. Just took her. So hard to hold. So slimy and stinky and gross. Gotta wash your gloves after this one. There he is. Oh. I didn't think I was gonna get any more. I was gonna wrap it up. Whew, actually, I already did wrap it up, but I'm still fishing for a little bit. But they're all going after my little, my brown fly. The very first fish I caught on that, and then the other ones, all on the fly. Flying grub. Whew, get back down there. See if there's any more waiting, but I doubt it because there's just few and far between here today. But I'm getting some. I like when they pull out a little line, they thrash and thrash. And there's always a good chance you hook the bottom of the ice the way they thrash like that. I would not recommend using a six inch hole. They would fit, definitely. They don't get that tall. But they flip around a lot, so bigger hole, a little better.